Hi, welcome to the video training of Elixir. In today's video training, we will be looking at alias require and import. In order to facilitate software reuse, Elixir provides three directives alias require import plus a macro called use summarized below. To alias the module so it can be called as bar instead of foo.bar, you can use alias foo.bar comma as colon bar. For requiring the module in order to use its macros, you can use the require keyword so require foo. For importing functions from foo so they can be called without the foo prefix, you can use import foo. Invokes the, to invoke the custom code defined in foo as an extension point, you can use the keyword use foo. Let's first look at alias. Alias allows you to set up aliases for any given module name. Imagine a module uses a specialized list implemented in math.list. The alias directive allows referring to math.list just as list within the module definition. So let's go to the command prompt and enter the Elixir interactive mode. Def module stats do. Def module stats do. Alias math dot list comma as list so now we have alias math dot list as list in the remaining module definition miss definition list expands to math.list. The original list can still be accessed within stats by the fully qualified name elixir.list. Note that all modules defined in elixir are defined inside the main elixir namespace. However, for convenience you can omit elixir dot when referencing them. Referencing them. Aliases are frequently used to define shortcuts. In fact, calling an alias with an colon as option sets the alias automatically to the last part of the module name for example alias math.list is the same as alias math.list comma as colon list note that alias is lexically scoped which allows you to set aliases inside specific functions let's look at this example and Okay, def module math do def plus a b do alias math dot list and In the above code above, since we are invoking alias inside the function plus, the alias will be valid only inside the function plus. Minus function won't be affected at all. Now let's look at the required keyword. Elixir provides macros as a mechanism for metaprogramming. That is writing code that generates code. Macros are expanded at compile time. Public functions in modules are globally available. But in order to use macros, you need to opt in by requiring the module they are defined in. Let's look at this example. Let's try to access integer module and its is underscore odd function. Integer, teacher dot is odd. we got a compile error. It says you must require integer before invo invoking the macro integer. So what need we need to do here is to require integer. Require 
integer and now if we use integer dot is odd we got false and if I say 7 I get true now it's working so that's how require works in Elixir, in Elixir integer dot is underscore odd is defined as a macro so that it can't be used as a guard this means that in order to invoke integer dot is underscore odd we need to first require the integer module note that like the alias directive require is also lexically scoped now let's move on to import. We use import whenever we want to access functions or macros from other modules without using the fully qualified name. Note we can only import public functions as private functions are never accessible externally. For example, if we want to use the duplicate function from the list module several times, we can import it. Port list comma only colon duplicate colon two okay we got the list now if we run duplicate colon okay three we got three okays so that's how import works. We imported only the function duplicate with arity2 from list. Although colon only is optional, its usage, its usage is recommended in order to avoid importing all the functions of a given module inside the current scope. Colon except could also be given as an option in order to import everything in a module except a list of functions. Note that import is lexically scoped too. This means that we can import specific macros or functions inside function definitions. Def module math do def some function do colon duplicates end of some function and end of definition module redefine module math current version defined in memory in the code above the imported list dot duplicate function is only visible within that specific function duplicate won't be available in any other function in that module or any other module for that matter note that importing a module automatically requires it Let's look at the used macro. The used macro is frequently used as an extension point. This means that when you use a module foobar, you allow that module to inject any code in the current module, such as importing itself or other modules, defining new functions, setting a module state, etc. For example, in order to write tests using the xunit framework, a developer should use the xunit.case module. So look at this example, you can define a module def module assertion test too and you have to use the xunit module using the use keyword use xunit.case and async true. Then we use the test always pass to function assert true and we end the function and the module. Behind the scenes, use requires the given module and then calls the underscore using callback on it, allowing the module to inject some code into the current context. 
Some would use, for example, the above xunit.case, but also supervisor and gen server. Use this mechanism to populate your module with some basic behavior, which your module is intended to overwrite or complete. Generally speaking, the following module, uh, def module example, do use feature option value and is compiled into def module example do require feature feature dot underscore using underscore option colon colon value and since use allows any code to run we can't really know the side effects of using a module without reading its documentation for this reason import and alias are often preferred as their semantics are defined by the language understanding aliases at this point you may be wondering what exactly is an alexa alias and how is it represented an alias in alexa is a capitalized identifier like string keyword etc which is converted to an atom during compilation for instance the string alias translates by default to the atom alexa dot string so if we type in is atom and pass the string we got we get true and if we convert string to two string we got alexer dot string so you can see the string alias translates to alexer dot string and if we compare alexer dot string with string we get true by using the alias directive we are changing the atom to alias expands to aliases expand to atoms because in the erlang virtual machine and consequently alexa modules are always represented by atoms for example that's the mechanism we use to call erlang modules colon list dot flatten one comma two list and three as the same number colon lists not flatten one comma two as a list and three again as a number and we get okay i forgot to add the syntax before okay forgot to add the braces the function now we have the list okay module nesting now that we have talked about aliases we can talk about nesting and how it works in alexa consider the following example module nesting now that we have talked okay this is the same text so this basically we can define module within a module as you can see we have defined a bar module within the foo module the example above will define two modules foo and foo bar the second can be accessed as bar inside foo as long as they are in the same lexical scope. The code above is exactly the same as def module alexer dot foo do and def module alexer dot foo dot bar because bar is inside the foo module and then we can make alias of alexer dot foo dot bar as bar. If later the bar module is moved outside the foo module definition, it must be referenced by its full name, that is foo.bar, or an alias must be set using the alias directive discussed above. Note that in Alexa you don't have to define the foo module before being able to define the foo.bar module as the language translates all modules names to atoms. You can define arbitrarily nested modules without defining any module in the chain. For example, foo.bar.bars without defining foo or foo.bar first. So multi-alias import require use. From Alexa version 1.2, it is possible to alias import or require multiple modules at once. This is particularly useful once we start nesting modules, which is very common when building Alexa applications. For example, imagine you have an application where all modules are nested under my app. You can alias the modules myapp.foo, myapp.bar, and myapp.baz at once as follows. 
that's all about alias require and import in Elixir. If you require any professional help, you can email me at umemood.gmail.com. You can visit my Facebook page or you can contact me on LinkedIn using my LinkedIn profile page. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time with a new topic in Elixir.